Is it safe to say at this point that Xbox ain't playing around? Xbox showed up at the Game Awards and they stole the show. Everybody was talking about what Xbox showed at the Game Awards. Hellblade 2 looked absolutely incredible. Blade, oh man, even though the rumors about Arcane Leon doing a Blade game was all over Twitter for the last couple of days, and obviously those rumors were true, Blade, that's a huge game. We wanted Xbox to do a superhero game. People say, Xbox, you need to do a damn superhero game, damn it. And they listen. Phil Spencer and his team listen. Not only are they doing Indiana Jones game, they're also doing a Blade game. <laughs> These are great times for Xbox fans. And a guy like me, who was a diehard Xbox fan since, since the original Xbox, and I actually dealt with the, the down years of the Xbox One generation, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Even Kojima announced his game there. OD. Oh, man. This is some great stuff. And he's actually hooking up with Jordan Peele. I mean, what the hell is going on? Xbox is killing it right now. But you guys know me. You know what I'm going to talk about. Because Xbox is doing great things, they had some huge announcements. The fanboys. When I say fanboys, I, of course, mean PlayStation fanboys. They're hating. Oh my God, they're hating. Why is it that Xbox fans can give PlayStation games credit? We can say God of War was a good game. We can say The Last of Us was a good game. We can say Spider-Man 2 was a good game. But when it comes to Xbox games, they give Xbox no credit. Nothing says sour grapes more than having a list <laughs> of PlayStation exclusives next year that's not really first party couple of DLCs, third-party games. Porter Rock says, God of War Valhalla on the 12th. Final Fantasy 16 Echoes of the Fallen today. Hell Divers and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth February. Rise of Ronin in March. Final Fantasy 16 Tide Spring, <laughs> Rise and Tide Spring 2024. But PS5 is in trouble? No games? This is rock. I can't get jiggy with this shit. Come on, man. What the f- You're one of the guys that for, for years say Xbox has no games. Xbox is showing amazing things and you immediately go to Twitter with this lame ass list of PlayStation DLC third party titles. This list is a damn L. It's an L. You guys think this list is going to destroy Xbox in 2024? Is this what you guys think is going to hurt Xbox in 2024? Final Fantasy 16 DLCs? Hell Divers Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth? Rise of Ronin? That looks fine, but shit, man, it looks no different than Wulong to me. <laughs> Get out of here, man. King Thrash says, You decide how far along Ninja Theory has come. 12 T flops versus 1 T flop last gen versus next gen. Last gen is 60 FPS. Next gen is 30 FPS for some reason. Which had better lighting, animation, facial expressions, details, environments? Look at this bitch. The first thing this dude, this guy does is run to Twitter and try to compare Hellblade 1 with Hellblade 2 and saying that Hellblade 1 looks better. <laughs> Hellblade 1 was owned by Ninja Theory. Microsoft wasn't involved. It started off as a PlayStation exclusive. Hellblade 2, on the other hand, is obviously an Xbox game, an Xbox exclusive. Isn't it funny that all of a sudden, he said Hellblade 1 looks better than Hellblade 2. Anybody with two eyes can see damn well Hellblade 2 looks better than Hellblade 1. You can't be serious, man. These guys are salty. The hate is crazy. Good old J Dub <laughs> says, Redfall Blade Edition. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man, they just can't. Just don't say nothing. I know you guys are, are worried. I know you guys are threatened because Xbox is a monster. <laughs> I know you guys are scared to death. 
Uh, this shit is funny, bro. These guys are scared to death. Look, Nicola says, see you in 2028. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> What you know? What's funny about that? If Blade has just started development, yes, it's probably be out about 2027, 20, maybe even 2028. 20, who knows? But when you look at Xbox roadmap, when you look at Xbox first party, they'll be fine. They're gonna drop AAA games every single year. If 2024 is Hellblade, Avow, some other games. If 2025 could be Perfect Dark, Fable, State of K3, 2026, Gear 6. Do you understand what I'm saying? But what does PlayStation have, Nicola? Huh? What does PlayStation have, buddy? <laughs> I remember those flip floppers, Mooch and Crap, and all of those guys back in 2016. They talked so much shit about God of War and, and all of those games. Those games are two to three years out, but guess what? Those games eventually came out, and those games were pretty big. So those flip floppers flipped to PlayStation side. Why I'm telling the story is because look, Nicole, look, you can talk that shit. Blade is early in development, but guess what? It's eventually going to come out, as well as the rest of Xbox first party games, and you guys are going to look stupid, absolutely stupid. Here it is again, another dumbass pony with that stupid ass list of PlayStation games. <laughs> Hunter, who tries to play like he's somewhat a news source or tries to play neutral sometimes, but he is 100% a PlayStation fanboy. It's funny when they immediately put this trash ass list of PlayStation first party games. I'm sorry, let me take that back. A PlayStation exclusives, most of them is not first party. Actually, if you look at this list, all of them are third party. <laughs> Except with the exception of God of War, Ragnarok, Valhalla, um, DLC that drops this year. And also The Last of Us Remastered. That list is trash. <laughs> DLC, third party is exclusive. It's sad right now. This all these guys have. Xbox have a great showing at the Game Awards. PlayStation didn't really, really show much. Spider-Man 2 won zero freaking awards. Zero point zero. I won as many awards as Spider-Man 2. But they they come out here with this list immediately after the show. Hey, look, look at PlayStation list, guys. I know Xbox show Blade and Hellblade and OD, but look at our list of third party and DLC and remasters. Look at our list. Yay! It's bad right now for PlayStation fanboys. It's so bad that Hazard Door Gaming did some research and found out that some folks are editing the article from Arcane Blade Game coming to PS5. Look at this shit, man. Look what they're doing. <laughs> Everybody knows this game is an Xbox exclusive. Yes, Xbox should have definitely put it at the bottom of the, uh, the screen at the end of the trailer, but they didn't. But everybody knows this game is an Xbox exclusive. If Indiana Jones is an Xbox exclusive, confirmed, you think Blade isn't? And isn't it funny these ponies want to run to Twitter and beg? And they want, is Blade coming to PS5? Y'all didn't care about Spider-Man being a PlayStation exclusive now, did you? Is Blade coming to PS5? Blade should come to PS5. No, just get an Xbox or a PC, bitch. That's what you need to do. They're up here editing the Arcane article <laughs> to say PS5 on it. They're still begging for Xbox games, y'all. They're still begging for Xbox games. You know, I put up a tweet showcasing, um, well, well, showing, uh, saying how great Hellblade 2 looks and of course, I got responses from ponies. Look at this piece of shit. He has this list. Look at this. Final Fantasy VII, Helldivers 2, The Last of Us Part Two, and Rise of Rona in the first three months of 2024. Xbox with a question mark. So I responded, you're actually bragging about this? <laughs> then this extreme pony gamer for life, he responds, you're actually bragging about this, that five years in development? Oh, now it's about how long the game has been in development. If you watch uh, Ninja Theory's documentary, COVID hit them just as hard as it hit everybody else. 
um, they had they were filming stuff in um, Iceland and that had to come to a stop. They had to hide. You know, it's a whole situation. But pay attention. Wolverine was showed off in 2021. It's about to be 2024. The game is rumored to come out of 2025. So shut your stupid ass up. Shut up. I hate these guys. So look, man, at the end of the day, what's happening is incredible. Xbox is out there doing great things, man. I love it. I love uh, uh, Blade look great. Even though it was just CGI, I believe Arcane Leon is a great studio. I love Deathloop. I love the Dishonored games. And um, he admitted it's a third person game third person action adventure game yes i believe a blade game has to be third person <laughs> and like nobody wants to play a blade game in first person so yes it's confirmation it's the third person game i can't wait to see what's going on hellblade 2 looks incredible people was wondering where's the combat show some damn combat they showed some combat some combat and the release date was not revealed they still said 2024 and people have lost their minds people has lost their minds and let's talk about these pony bots for a second these damn pony bots ryan mccaffrey says great hellblade 2 trailer but i'm legit disappointed that they didn't give a release date after showing it for the third or fourth time maybe we'll get the date if there's another xbox developers direct next month look you know this is how he feels um but to tweet this immediately after after the trailer i'm like bro just shut your asses up for a second damn that trailer looks incredible it said 2024 yes we all wanted an a, a set release date but damn man these guys just take the mood the the great mood uh from xbox and xbox fans and y'all just crumble it up and throw this shit in the garbage like yo don't be too happy right now because they still didn't give a set release date bro 2024 is coming will it come early 24 2024 late we don't know but damn you guys can really ruin the damn mood italian clown so i have no problem with whatsoever i think he put out a bad take i know people say dirt is his opinion and yes it's his opinion but come on man this is why the term pony bot was invented if you're an xbox guy if you feel how it, italian clowns feel okay fine but when us Xbox fans are out there, yes, Blade 2 looks incredible. Blade 2 is going to be a lot of fun. Yes, it looks great. And when you put out a tweet like this, you just, just ruin people's mood, man. And this is why guys just hate some Xbox guys that say shit like this. And, and this ruins the mood, he says. So let's talk about Blade. He is popular, but like a cult classic. He's not a traditional mainstream character. And Wesley Snipes really brought him to life. Is it good Xbox got a Marvel character? Yes. But now everything Arcane does with Blade will be compared to Insomniac. And if it does not come out as good, the press will destroy it. Blade's following is not even as close to, to the same fandom Wolverine or Spider-Man has. I think better choices would have been an open world Black Panther. EA is doing a Black Panther game, by the way. Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man, and Punisher. EA is doing an Iron Man game also. If this was the X big Xbox height, I am completely let down and they went with their risky choice. Blade is a solid character, but he would not bring the audience others would. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the problem with some of the Xbox guys in the community. I've heard people for years, it would be dope to have another Blade game. Um, you know, Black Panther, like I said, they're doing the Black, uh, EA's doing the Black Panther game. They're doing the Iron Man game. So the other superheroes, Hawk, Captain America, and Punisher. Now, Punisher game would have been awesome. But they chose Blade. Maybe this is the game they wanted to do. Maybe this is the game Arcane Leon wanted to do. They wanted to do Blade. We haven't had a Blade game since the PS2 Xbox generation with Blade 2. That game wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad either. This is their choice. Maybe Marvel said, you know, you can pick anybody that you want to do a game with and they chose Blade. Why is this so bad? Why is this a bad thing? <laughs> and this is the Xbox guy, right? 
why is Blade being being chosen a bad thing? Like, look, this is his opinion. But what's a what the, what the fuck, bro? What is going on, man? Xbox had a great night at the Game Awards, and this is the first thing he tweets. <laughs> okay, man. Look, it's his opinion, but please, man, these guys, stop it, stop it. This, this is why Xbox guys be getting pissed. This is why the term pony bot was was invented. Because when these Xbox guys go out here and say shit like this, the, the Xbox homies are like, damn, man, I thought Xbox had a good show. What is this? What is this foolishness? <laughs> but it is what it is. Look, I'm about to get up out of here. But Xbox is doing amazing things. The Blade thing came out of nowhere. Yes, I was told about it a couple days ago. Still didn't know if it was true. Obviously, it was. Hellblade 2 looks incredible. OD seems to be a Kojima horror game. And people, listen, that PT trailer they did back in 2014, 2015, whatever year it was, that was some scary shit. So this is a trailer. I mean, this is a uh, Xbox exclusive game from Kojima. That's a horror game. Man, might be some scary shit going on. But look, I'm about to get out of here. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble across my channel and think I'm decent enough, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell to know what my black ass is doing. Some new content, baby. All right, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. Shit. Damn, man. <laughs>